Ranking the best running backs in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be updating running backs. Now, right before I do want to head jump into the old tier list and re-rank the old cards, then rank the new cards. I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now, let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. I don't think anything is changing. I don't think anyone needs to go up. I don't think anyone needs to come down. Sugar Rush track card is still working. And we kind of said like after, I believe, Tony Pollard, everyone was going to drop when that was over. But it's still around so for me no one's moving and again the x factor running backs are still the best in the game now we get started with an interesting back right here deandre swift 93 overall so there's two different versions of this card you'll see this one like the red card art and secondly he has a, a silver card art really the only thing that changes is the abilities like you can see these stats are the exact same so 97 speed 95 excel not the best ball carrier moves in the world but pretty good break tackle also for abilities on him he gets a a lot of things for one ap no zero ap abilities but pretty much like almost everything it looks like for one ap so i don't think he's bad but this one right here is where it gets a little bit interesting so he could potentially get short and elite human joystick rb apprentice evasive and tank for three ap now that is a that's a pretty decent amount of ap to spend on your running back rb apprentice kind of wish this was like a bruiser as well because that would have been really really crazy for me they're both gonna rank on the same tier because i don't really know if i can justify spending that much ap on the running back for those specific abilities i think he's really solid though like with the sugar rush track card right now up to 99 speed now i don't think he's like this like best running back in the game but I think he's B tier, kind of by that uh, 96 Kenneth Gainwell, that also, again, Sugar Rush track card up to 99 speed. Now we have the same exact story again. We got Reggie Gilliam right here. This is a fullback, but I do think you can play this card at running back and you will have a lot of success. Again, you can see the red card art and you can then see the silver card art. Again, has the same exact stats, but abilities are a little bit different. Six foot one, 244, so a big back. 97 speed, 95 XL. Pretty good ball carry moves besides spin. And he also has 80 short out running 70 medium now for this card's abilities right here he can go ahead and get evasive honorary lineman or human joystick for zero ap i really like the honorary lineman at fullback can really help you out in the red zone but this card right here's abilities the silver one kind of ridiculous let's take a look he can get short and elite red zone threat matchup nightmare backfield master evasive and tank for three ap um if you have three ap to spend on offense this is super runnable. I think this card right here is insane. For me, this one is going to be um, B tier once again. I think he is very, very solid. But this one, this Reggie Gilliam with the insane stack, I'm putting him A. I really really like him i could totally see the argument for s i could that's how good i think this card is if you want to put him s tier you can you can 100 percent do it to me it's tough to spend three ap on a player that isn't a quarterback and also a db with like a bunch of ko's so uh for me he's top end of a right after that we get out of position sean t at running back six foot two 220 power back 96 speed 96 excel could be up to 98 speed again sugar rush track card pretty good ball carry moves across the board 88 short arm running 82 medium so he's a receiving threat he's all the way around really really solid also can get zero ap short and elite zero ap bruiser zero ap tank i think he's very solid i don't really think this card is bad at all i'm gonna go ahead and slightly lean a i do really like his abilities and he is like he he's kind of built too i do think he breaks a lot of tackles he's a good budget option as well i like him right after that we got brian robinson right here so brian robinson 96 speed 96 xl 6'2 224 again pretty good ball carrier stats across the board but the receiving stats aren't really there and for his abilities this time zero ap bruiser zero ap tank i think sean t is actually a better running back than him so if i ran a washington commander team team uh, I'm probably going Leon uh, Sandcastle at running back, but I, I would run Sean T over this card too. Uh, for me, he's going to be a tier lower than uh, Sean T. He's going to be in this B tier. I don't think he's bad by any means. If you want to run him, you for sure can. I just don't really think he's like top tier. And right after that, we got Dolphins. Great Raheem Mostert. So Raheem Mostert, uh, base 99 speed, 99 excel. Really, really amazing. 98 agility as well. So the physical stats, amazing. Like top in the game, 5'10", 205. This is a very different type of running back than what we We've covered so far he has a really small player model which is really preference do you prefer the big backs or like the smaller backs 
I'll be honest, I was big on like Keith Byers being better than this card when he first got revealed. I don't know. I kind of became a believer in like the, the small player models that running back too. I think there's benefits to both. Has pretty good ball carriers out to cross the board. Mine's truck or stiff arm. A pretty good break tackle. Decent catching, decent short route running as well. Now for his abilities, he is someone that can get short and elite for zero, evasive, human joystick, and also return man. Everything else for one AP. I think this card is really, really great. It's hard to get much better than him. He's more bottom in the vest for me. I like him. And again, it's really hard to get much better than him. Like zero AP short and elite, 99 speed, 99 excel. That's really what I'm looking for for running backs at this point. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but this might be the most slept on running back in the game. Uh, James Conner right here. So James Conner, 97 speed, 97 excel, 6'1", 233. Pretty big back. Great ball carry moves across the board. 99 truck, 99 stiff arm, 98 break tackle. Receiving stats are great as well. 90 catching, 88 short route running. And for abilities, he can get zero AP backfield mismatch, zero AP bruiser, zero AP short in lead as well this card is amazing again i don't see a lot of them but probably because of the x factor running backs but for me he is again top in the best i think josh jacobs and barry sanders are the best in s because of the two zero ap abilities but he's right up there for me man i think he is a top tier running back if you aren't using freight train i would definitely try to give james connor a shot now right after that we got 98 overall kenneth walker i was a huge fan of his ghost of mutt and he's 5'9", 209. He just felt really, really smooth when I used them. 99 speed, 97 XL. Has really great ball carry moves across the board, minus stiff arm. And has 85 catching, 94 short route running. Hits that 90 threshold for short route running. Now for his abilities this time, he can get short and elite for zero. Backfield master, human joystick, and tank. Everything else for one. I really like him. For me, he is another like top end of S tier uh, running back. I would say he's better than James Conner. I would. Um, I, I just like Josh Jacobs and Barry uh, Sanders a little bit more though because of the two zero AP abilities. Now right after that we got Emmett Smith. So Emmett Smith, 98 speed, five foot nine, two ten. Again can get this up to 99 speed, whether it be free agent track court or right now Sugar Rush track card. Amazing ball carrier stats across the board. Really good receiving stats. 88 catching, 89 short running, 94 release as well or beat press. Now for his abilities, he is someone that can get short and elite for zero. Backfield master can also get route tech for one. If you wanted to be a little bit nasty. So you could go short in the lead and route tech for a one and uh play mat receiver too i really like him again he hits everything i'm looking for for a running back at this point in the game he is another pretty easy s tier running back for me and again he's pretty top tier i really like him and right after that we got marshall falk so marshall falk 99 speed great acceleration great agility has pretty good ball carry moves across the board minus trucking and stiff arm again different kind of back kind of like what i was saying with raheem moser he's a little bit of a smaller back but an amazing receiver 90 catching 92 short running 90 release or beat press and this time for his abilities he is someone that can get zero ap short and lead zero ap backfield master zero ap evasive and zero ap human joystick also can get zero ap playmaker i I think again he is a very easy uh, s tier running back for me i really really like him he is ooh, i would probably put him it's tough because i like kenneth walker more than him which might sound crazy but really a feel thing but yeah y'all this has been my updated tier list for running backs in madden 23 kind of sucks that like these cards right here are probably going to be the best in the game for for like ever because unless they up the ap of freight train if you aren't using these four guys right here i think barry sanders and josh jacobs again two zero ap abilities but everyone else stats wise is really hitting like everything i'm looking for there are a ton of great running backs in the game i still think this keith byers is super usable so yeah yo let me know your thoughts down below in the comments let me know who you're rocking out at running back if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in madden 23 now if you want to see me use some of these cards live I have been streaming over on Twitch a lot. Make sure to check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. I'd greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't feel like heading over to Twitch and you want another video to watch, check out this one right here. A random wheel spin determined my playbook.